Now, this question has been taken from uh, 2013 exam paper of NCA level 2. Uh, and this is a question on optimization. A right angle triangle OPQ, so this is triangle OPQ, is drawn where O is the origin, which is 0, 0. P is a point on the parabola, so P is this point on the parabola. And the equation of the parabola is y is equal to ax minus x squared, and q is on the x-axis. So this is a right angle triangle. Show that the maximum possible area of this triangle OPQ is 23a cube over, sorry, 2a cube over 27. So basically what's going to happen is, as this point keeps moving, p moves, q is also going to move, and you're going to get the maximum area. So how do we start here? Yeah, so let's say this point Q, so this point P has a coordinate X comma Y. The coordinate of P is X comma Y. So well, I can say O, OQ would be X and PQ is going to be Y. So area of a triangle, area of a triangle is going to be half base times height, so half x, y. And as this point P moves, Q is also going to move, and there will be one point where you are going to get the maximum area. So this is the area in terms of x and y. So now I have to write A in terms of x or y. So it's easier to substitute y as a form of x. Now, A, one thing that you would understand is a number, is a constant. A is not a variable. A is a constant. To give you an example, your Y, can if you take A as 3, it means it is 3X squared minus X squared. So this is a question. So one thing that you would understand, A is not a, a, is not a variable. It's a constant. Okay, so <coughs> this implies A would be half x times y. What is y? y is ax minus x squared. So now writing a as a writing a as a function of x in an expanded form, it is half ax squared minus half x cubed. So this is the formula for area as a function of x. A is a constant. So let me rewrite. So A as a function of x is half times A, half A times x squared minus half times x cubed. Now to, get the <coughs> to find the maximum area, we can say for maximum area, for maximum area, we can say dA by dx would be 0. So the first thing that we have to do is to differentiate this. So dA by dx would be half A times when you're differentiating x squared, that differentiates to 2x minus half times the differentiation of x cubed is 3x squared. So we can say, well, dA by dx, simplifying this a little, so 2 and 2 gets cancelled, becomes ax minus 3 over 2x squared. And that I'm going to set equal to zero to find the to find the value of x which will make which will give the maximum area. So let's work it out here. So if you factor out x, you have a minus a minus three over two x is equal to zero. So solving this, you can say, well, x is equal to 0, or a minus 3 over 2x is equal to 0.
so we can say the maximum area is a is 0 or I can say a is equal to 3 over 2x which means x is 2 over 3a so how did I get that it is basically multiplying both sides by 2 over 3 so if you multiply this side by 2 over 3 I have to multiply this side by 2 over 3 so 3 over 2 and 2 over 3 gets cancelled so x is 2a over 3 now well you can say when x is 0 so let me write it here so when x is 0 you can say area is going to be 0 so the formula for area is this you can use this formula or the previous formula you can also use this so area is half x half x times a x times x squared so when a is 0 sorry when x is 0 a, area is going to be 0 so when when x is 2 when x is 2 third a what can we do area would be half times I'm going to use this formula in place of x I'm going to put 2 third a bracket a times 2 third a so let me scroll to this side a a times in place of x I'm going to put 2 third a minus x squared that would be 4 a squared over 9 so so let me do the finishing the work here so area would be this and this gets cancelled so that is a over 3 times this is 2a squared over 3 minus 4a squared over 9 okay so let me change color so area simplifying this we are going to get this is a over 3 times 2a squared over 3 is same as 6a squared over 9 minus 4a squared over 9 so area simplifying this would be a over 3 times this is 2a squared over 9 so area the maximum area would be 2a cube over 27 so this is the general formula or the general uh, solution or general solution to this problem where a can be a constant number so if a basically what we are saying is if a is 3 if a is 3 the maximum area would be suppose let, uh, let us understand this question in a different way so what are we saying if a is 3 that means the equation is y is equal to 3x squared minus x squared your maximum area you can say maximum area would be 2 times 3 cube which is 27 over 27 so the maximum area would be 2 unit cube 2 unit squared sorry and if it is 4 it will be 2 times 4 cube over 27 